Hello and welcome back everyone. You are watching the 1.12.2 pack brought to you by me, Skater799. That is a normal username. Totally. Bees suck. Totally. We had our uh, first successful YouTube stream and it was successful. I'm going to quickly update you on some things as you take a look at the infuser and at the redstone furnace look it's hardened because we put augments in it we uh, we made these um, hardened upgrade kits for for these two and um, I'm just cooking up some charcoal because we need power I burnt through the power charging this bad boy it is completely charged now I'm gonna keep it on that bobble I guess um, we put this augment that makes rechargeable items charge very rapidly and this one is just processing speed so we've got a lot of stuff to do right now um, definitely more augments we got a lot of upgrades to do take a look at what I added to the power fist this the pickaxe um, tool and I overclocked it a little bit it's very modular so I just put it to 300 thousand RF per tick so 21 times the harvest speed so we harvest stuff this fast I felt that was an all right speed we definitely want to get going on some more upgrades I kind of reorganized some of the things I put gems and stuff in here let's knock some stuff out of our to-do list starting with this Nice. Now if I walk through one, will it close both? That's a problem. Let's fix that. A little bit of redstone never hurt anybody. See if one... Yeah, so one should now control both. So we run in, and if I run in and walk on just one, yeah, should activate both. Look at that, perfect. That is off the to-do list. That closes on its own. Now, I didn't put this on the to-do list, but it's kind of necessary. We want to end up getting maybe some augments for our power gen. And to do that, we need this, like, not the fused quartz, but we can also use hardened glass. But this needs um, a, the pulverized obsidian. So we got to go get some obsidian. I was thinking, why not? We got the pickaxe tool. We can put the diamond drill upgrade. And that just needs three diamonds and a solenoid. By the way, we've got enough diamonds now for a quarry as well. That's definitely on the to-do list. So let's get making a solenoid. We have wirings. And I think the way that we're going to do, not the wiring, but the solenoid, <clears throat> just to save three invar, is to do yeah this copper way the ic2 way because now we found a lot of copper did i mention we found copper copper is not found very low we found that out on the stream we have to mine in y level 40 and above so let me get this stuff ready so three copper turn that into plates let's see how many we can cut with this cutter one the rest insulate it we need um, some iron plates and let's make one of these then let's make a solenoid oh two more iron plates now can I have a solenoid yes you yes so that is one slot points. I really don't know what exactly that that means. But diamond drill. Let's go get some obsidian. So this is the first little bit of lava we have here. And if we put this to empty. Oh, we have to put it back to fill. Okay, here we go. Actually, you know what? I should leave a bit there. Just in case there's lava under this. Now, how fast will that go? <laughs> Very fast, actually. 
Well, I'm gonna collect some obsidian now. I love not having a tool that has a durability. And our flux capacitor just keeps the power going into this thing. We still have 5 million RF in our suit. Like, isn't this just perfect? 26 obsidian seems like enough to me. Time to head back up. Iron. Okay, so now that we're back up, I think we should focus first on making our machines better. Then we're going to go very heavy on our, uh, our suit here. Starting with power and then getting into everything else. I think I left some water down there, but that's okay. So, first thing with our machines, I want to get back here. And I want to upgrade the power gen we got. Now these augments over here, we're going to need to make a couple hardened upgrade kits so that we can put augments in them. But I found f uh, two sets of augments we would want. We'd either want this one that increases the um, fuel efficiency and then this one that increases the RF output. Or we could turn some of our dynamos into turbines that create just steam and then the other half of them into boilers that are going to boil the steam and just make uh, RF. I think that'll generate a lot more RF if I make one more dynamo, kind of like push it into the back, and then have two of them creating steam, two of them making RF off of it. That might be the plan, so I'm going to get stuff together and make one more steam dynamo. So we're going to need to make four upgrade kits for these. So I found out, you know, you can just use your handy dandy induction smelter and you can uh, put, we're going to want to put four and eight. Is that correct? That makes 12. So that can make four. No, we're going to have to do one more of those. So five and 10. And then we just put those in. That's going to turn into Invar for us. And then we'll do the bronze in a second because it needs bronze gears. Uh, let's make this steam dynamo. One of those. One of these. Put it together. Perfect. And then when this is done, we're going to put the bronze in. Okay, so we're going to take that. Then we're going to put that in for um, 16 bronze. We should probably get an augment in that too, but that'll be later. Alright, this is going to be coming up. Okay, so let's make our four things of these. Three? What are you lacking? Oh, easy. My bad. Okay. Now let's find a good way to get this um, put in. We're probably going to do it, since our Thomcraft room is this way, we're probably going to do it back um, in this direction. And I can just... We can route the piping around. So let's push it back. I'm going to dig out an area. Okay, so we're in this little back area. I got all the pipes down, so I'm thinking that, oops, maybe it works something like this. Um, these two would look that way, right? And then we can have these ones going out, because the power is going to go straight into there. Outwards, and then we have to harden them. They can all take augments now. Ignore that. And um, before we get the piping in, let's make the appropriate augment. Okay, so all I need is some more lead and what we got to do is turn this off and we're going to put an obsidian. Uh, let me make sure it's one obsidian because I'm pretty sure... Okay, so I know this one... No, no. You need the... Yeah, okay, only one hardened glass. So I'm pretty sure we're gonna get two hardened glass from doing this, but it'll be okay. In the induction Smelter, put four, put a lead in. Hardened glass is in the induction smelter. Oh, okay, so it has to be pulverized. My bad. 
So we'll get that done really quick. And then we should start crafting the rest of the stuff while this is in there, making the glass. So we're going to need this iron gear. Gonna need that, two copper plates, and uh, we have that. We need two of those. Let's make another one. Okay, we got the second one. I kind of forgot that we're going to need to make two, but that means that we won't have any hardened glass going to waste. So now let's make all the stuff for this. We need another bucket. We need to make... No, no, no. Four. Copper plates. Accidentally forgot to make two buckets. And it's this one. Yes, we just need two iron gears running out of iron in our person. Two of those. Great. Let's see what this is all about. So we're going to make the boiler conversion that creates steam back here. Okay. We still need water and fuel to go in here, I, I'm pretty sure. But when we turn this into boilers, it will just take steam. They're turbines, sorry. So steam must be provided from an external source. I'm pretty sure steam will go into here. Let's um, kind of get these circuits plugged in. And then let's get the water set up. Might have to make more of these, I'm not sure. You don't go into there, right? Nope. Or I'm going to make a few more of these. Let's make more fluid ducts. Let's make more item ducts. Check it out. So, <clears throat> let's power this this way. Not power, but run the cabling so we don't get trapped back there. We don't need you going in there. And we're going to have you going in the back anyway. So, don't go in there. Let's check it. Water. Good. Now... Let's get our item ducts. No. Not you. Okay. Really? Don't do that. Okay, and now we just need a servo in here. There you are. We're gonna whitelist you to just that and redstone stop off. So you should be generating a lot of power, right? You get water. Are you whenever you start sending charcoal over here? Which hopefully you do. Yes. And then you start powering up. You have steam. So now its maximum power is 240. I believe before this, let's just do a little test, 60, 240 times 2, we have almost 500 RF per take being generated. Pretty good. Now I think the next thing we need to do, by the way I made a compactor for making some, I think, silver plates that I needed or something um, we're going to need to make some improved flux ducts right so to do that we're going to need this fluid transposer to make to put destabilized redstone which we have some of but we can get more by just putting I think redstone in a magma crucible so maybe these are both things that are good to have maybe here and here and um, we need some of these redstone energy flux ducts that are empty. So we're going to need to make some more hardened glass and then we're going to need more electrum. I'm going to get to work on that. I'm going to put two obsidian in there for four hardened glass. <clears throat> then we're going to need, let's take one more look. Um, we're going to need eight electrum. So four of you and four silver. I love doing the induction smelter because now we don't have to actually turn it into a dust combine it to then smelt it. I should have known about this the whole time. 
but I'm dumb. Our obsidian's done. Our electrum's done. Put that in and oops. Pulverize it. Okay, this should work now. And while we're doing that, let's take some things off. We did this, we did this. We're not gonna do these right now. Maybe if we get the reinforced upgrade kits. I don't see why not. Maybe we'll do that. Almost. Okay, let's take the hardened glass. Let's put these together. So I'm going to make 24 of those. Hopefully that's enough. So let's look at making, there you are, fluid transposer. That's just glass, copper, gold, oop, and a bucket. So I'm going to put, oh, and a machine frame. We know this tin. Let's put that together. Boom. We got the fluid transposer. Now we're going to need a magma crucible. Is this hard to make? We're gonna need to make more of the uh, the hardened stuff. Ooh, we gotta go to the nether for this. Unless there is a sneaky way to make this, we have to go to the nether to get netherrack and do all that stuff. So why not? Let's just do it. Got a little hole mined out here that I think would be nice. In our stairway for a little Nether portal. Nether portal. I don't know what I'm talking about. Now, yeah, is it a bad idea to go to the nether with all of this stuff on us? Probably. But with power armor, there's nothing you can't do. This might take a second. Oh my gosh, we made it to the nether! Wow, isn't this, like, beautiful? Isn't this, like, the best thing you've ever seen? This place is amazing looking. Wow. Okay, I'm going back. Not trying it. Not today. 32 <laughs> nether rack. All I need. Okay. Let's um, let's take a look at that magma crucible again. Put it over here. We got the fluid transposer done. We got these done. Magma crucible. Let's get the stained glass going, and we need to cook up eight of those. Yeah, let's get all this stuff. More obsidian, cook, piece of lead, pulverize, and then after that, pull those out. Put eight nether rack in. Go! They gave you more processing speed. You go slow though. Maybe you need more. Okay, induction smelt. Craft a bunch of things. Those. And then let's make this stuff. Why is gold on there? Let's make you. Let's make two of those. So glad we have copper now. We've got no idea. We got a magma crucible. Perfect. Fluid transposer right there. Probably magma crucible there. And we want whatever we uh, put in to come out in here. We want to accept fluids from the top. And right now, also, we should empty the destabilized redstone that we have. So for the time being, while we don't have extra cables, I think we're going to pull this guy out, put you in there, so you can go into there. <clears throat> that should be more than enough power to at least make these, these cables, right? How much does it take to... Um, fill takes 200 to fill these up so I'm gonna get this process done so we had enough redstone for 20 of them but not enough for the rest so I'm thinking I want to burn up a little bit more redstone if I put you in a magma crucible how much do you make 100 so I need eight redstone burning in here. Hopefully that's correct, and I'll come back when that's done. And as the uh, redstone comes into here, it should just be filling up. Yep, 
straight into there. Beautiful process. Okay, we got all of these done. Let's get them installed. We want to take our trusty wrench out. Take out all of these old cables that these only have transfer rate of 4,000 RF per tick. These are 9,000 RF per tick. Isn't that music to your ears? Okay, put you in there. And let's go up here. You're gonna power this, you're gonna power this, and that, and this. This, and that, and then. Everything. Let's power again. Okay, let's knock some things off of our to do list. We got the Magma Crucible, we've got the flux ducts, the new ones, maybe an extra steam dynamo. Now, let's see how many upgrades we want to make. We want to make one for the pulverizer, it's basic one, two, one for the energy cell, uh, three, and four, and five. So let's quick craft that. Yeah, we know how to do these. We got the means to make all of this, five of these. I actually forgot the compactor, which we probably want to upgrade, so six, six of these. Boom, six upgrade kits. Let's get you, 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 that guy in the back, and you. And I want to know how much, how you hold. That's four times as much, right? And that's as much um, energy as we have in total because we kind of ran out of charcoal, but I have plans to get more. So let's get some machine upgrades, right? So we want the speed upgrades yes processing speed for you one we want two three four five of those let's go let's show you what these are it's just gold we've got five of these let's put one in there one in there one in there now we can upgrade these a bit further with these reinforced silver some electrum fused quartz I think first we're gonna get this for these guys over here I'm gonna make four of those if you wanted to see the speed now it looks a bit like this which is much faster but um, it could be faster we'll upgrade that later we just need to get these making more energy so let's make four of those put those in here so now these should be able to take more of those so this one increases power generation we want those in the um, in the turbines right in the front and then the ones making steam we want them to have the increased efficiency so more energy is produced by fuels I think that those ones will take those. Let's make those real quick. Two of each. Need to make more electrum. Okay, so let's get two of those, which makes two of those, and then let's get two of these, which will make two of those. So the fuel one would probably go in the one that uses fuel, right? Successfully installed is what it says. So that should use fuel better. This one then should uh, make more with the steam it has. I mean, I'd call that a success. So it seems like um, all of our machines have been upgraded very thoroughly and we're going to get to some power armor right now, but we are probably going to have to pick it up in the next episode because this is running kind of long. I'm going to show you guys the axe. So we need to do the, another solenoid and I want to do wiring this way, the uh, industrial craft way, because it's so much better than wasting like six copper when all we need really is one copper so that we can get two of these and I'm pretty sure it was like this. Yes. Now we're gonna make, um, actually we got the perfect amount right here. 
three of you. Where did my cutter go? Let's insulate those. Let's make some more of those. Why don't you work? Can you be in the top? Let's make one of you. Okay, so let's make one of you. Great, and I'm only doing this recipe up here instead of here because I now that I have more copper than I have nickel, I don't want to waste the nickel, right? So let's take care of our power really quick by adding axe and I guess overclock it the same amount I overclocked the uh, pick. I don't know what that would do, but we'll find out. Don't know how fast that's going to go, is what I mean. Man, applied energistics would be very nice, wouldn't it? So let's go over here, make a tree like we do. Oh, you know what? I'm going to do one thing before this. Let's get this. Upgraded magnet. And boom. That should be much better. Put that on there, go back out. Okay, let's see how fast this will chop things down. If we ever get a tree. Okay. Oh, it doesn't uh, do the tree capitate. Darn. We've always got the old way of doing things, right? Good old axe. Also, Check this out. Upgraded magnet again. Only takes Electrum and Invar, right? Should I do it? Already did it. Looking good. Now this is getting a little low, but that's fine. Let's go chop some trees after we sleep. Sad we gotta do things this way for now, but I did see that there was a, um, a vein miner. Uh, upgrade, we can add, what are you? Wither Witch? I don't like that. There was a Vein Miner thing we could add to our, uh, our Power Fist right here. So that could help us in our issue. I'm going to do some more trees and then uh, do one last upgrade before we're done. So we got a fair amount of wood, I think. And let's just throw this in here. Make sure this is on. So that's going to start smelting sort of fast, but final upgrade. Let's make one of these and another one of these, right? One of these. Let's get one of these. Okay. Boom. Hardened. Or reinforced. Now go many fasts, right? So that's going to be like, you know, better. Then let's get some item ducts and another servo. And I think if I just connect you in here, um, you out here, and plug you into the back of that, get one of these again, put the servo to say you're whitelisted and Go. That should end up putting all of it in, in the uh, dynamos back there. So we don't even need this chest anymore, right? Now this wiring doesn't really uh, look too great. Sorry about that. But this place looks a little bit cleaner now, right? Isn't that something to be happy about? So thank you very much for watching this episode. Um, I know we got, you know, pretty pretty long episode here but I think we got a lot done and uh, leave a like if you're enjoying the series uh, tell me what you would like to see next and um, I'll see you guys next time bye bye